from the director of Batman and Robin, it's The Lost Boys, which is actually one of the best vampire movies there is, in, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, Lost Boys, of course, meaning uh, from Peter Pan, The Lost Boys, the little boys who stayed young forever, uh, such as the case with vampires. Uh, uh, never grow old, eternal youth, do whatever you want. Uh, it's uh, quite the temptation, um, as with the case with vampires. Um, uh, when they turn you, of course, not when they eat you. Um, basically, this movie, uh, the, the way Joel Schumacher does it, I mean, he, he definitely makes it kind of a, a, a fun and thrilling movie uh, with definitely a lot of humor, but it definitely has its, its, its dark side to it. Um, horror movies, I mean, when they deal with kids as, as the main characters, it's always really, really tricky, I think. Um, because in a lot of ways they'll have to deal with certain situations the way adults would deal with them. Um, so he's assembled some really, really good actors. Um, uh, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, uh, 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 Josh, what's his name? Jason Patrick, uh, and Kiefer Sutherland, who's great in the movie. Um, uh, Corey Haim in particular, I mean, does a really good performance. He is the main character, arguably, of, of the movie. Um... You know, and basically, what do you do when you move to a town and you learn that your brother is turning into a vampire, right? Um, so it's definitely a, a terrifying situation, but it's done in a very entertaining way. Um, very, very uh, horror movie kind of way. Um, follows the horror movie logic. Uh, you know, all the kids getting together, knowing what they know about vampires and how to stop them. Uh, vampires, uh, they're they're very antagonistic in this movie in, in a really good way. Um, kind of like older bullies, really, uh, which which I thought was uh, interesting. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely not ironic that they call it the Lost Boys. I mean, it's called that with with a good amount of sincerity because what is how high is the temptation to to uh, uh, fall into the spell of the vampire to live forever, especially if you have a choice. Um, because the Jason Patrick character, he does kind of have a choice whether he can turn back and live a normal life, or he can continue with the bad kids. So it's probably symbolic of something or other. I don't know. Um, but it's it's a great movie. I, I think it's a very very well crafted and assembled kind of movie. Very well written, um, and as I mentioned, very well acted. And it does have a very good humor to it too when necessary but not over the top I mean to be fair when when you think of Joel Schumacher the first thing you think of is oh this guy's over the top like crazy neon lights fucking flashing whatever I don't know I don't know but that's what kind of Batman and Robin has left the impression with people um, so very few you know of us uh, try as we may to remember uh, better days like this where he can create a very atmospheric and, and very very uh, cool kind of movie I guess cool is the best way to put it it's, it's, uh, it's really really 80s I mean but it's just cool I like it um, but yeah and, and probably one of my favorite Keith, Kiefer Sutherland uh, roles um, you know that bonkers 80s haircut uh, and, and the whole get up there, I mean, it's nuts, it's crazy, um, and that saxophone guy, you know that saxophone guy, oh man, what's with that, um, and the grandpa character is really funny, he is the best line of the movie, the very last line, um, where it's kind of like a wink and a nod to the audience, where it's like, yeah, you've, you've gone through some terrible stuff, but it's a movie, it's fun, which I think is important to, to remind ourselves of every now and again, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a classic kind of vampire movie. It doesn't really break the mold or anything like that when it comes to vampire um, stories. Um, but uh, I thought it was very well done, very well acted, and uh, it was kind of cool. Like, the little details it makes all the difference. Uh, like, uh, when the vampires uh, uh, like get uh, shot or stabbed or whatever, um, apparently if you look really closely, you can see like little bits of glitter uh, in their blood, which is an interesting touch by Joel, Joel Schumacher. Uh, soundtrack is really good. Um, just a great 80s atmospheric uh, vampire movie. Um, and I, I do think what makes it as strong as it is is because it does have uh, the younger characters in the lead. And 
kind of a mistake that a lot of movies fall into is treating the kids like secondary characters. Like, even something that I, I for example, I love, The Shining, is one of my all-time bests. Um, I couldn't even try to begin to put in words how much I love that movie. Um, but, you know, they, they make the kid the secondary character. Um, here, they're treated, you know, as the main characters and as uh, empowered characters uh, making quote-unquote decisions adults would make. Um, so in, in that sense, it's like, well, you know, they're not stupid, right? Kids aren't stupid. Uh, in a lot of ways, you know, horror movies are made for kids. So uh, the fact that they'd have kids as the main characters uh, kind of speaks to that and how, you know, it's not playing down to them. I mean, that's what I like about this movie. It doesn't play down to the, the kid characters. Young people can be smart and spry and think on their feet and make decisions that are maybe hard and, you know, deal with terrifying shit, uh, such as the Corey Haim character does. And I love Corey Haim in this movie. I mean, uh, God rest his soul. Um, he For such a young actor, I mean, he had such a great uh, gift in, in showing this power in this young kid... Uh, still acting like a kid, still getting freaked out at freaky shit, um, but, you know, finding the strength within himself. Um, so I thought that was very well done. Uh, it's one of Joel Schumacher's best. Um, uh, yeah, I, I got nothing else to say. I think it's a great movie, an absolute classic, The Lost Boys.